pretty easy to see that things haven't exactly gone according to plan for the Carolina Panthers. Now, I think there's a lot of different reasons for that, uh, but none more bigger or none more important than, hate to admit it, but we were, I think we're wrong about Sam, uh, Sam Darnold. <laughs> it's gotten to the point now where it's like, okay, yeah, they're probably either going to let him walk or there's going to be something that goes on. Um, and if we're being honest, you know, we were one of those channels that, was, that were hyping up Sam Darnold, uh, especially, I mean, after they started out 3-0, and and it just looked like, I, I mean, they looked like a tough team. And then they lost to the Cowboys, uh, what in that, a three-game losing streak, and it's just like, you know, they got to a point where it's like, okay, they, you know, they, they need to start figuring it out, but they're still a good team. And then, uh, yeah, now they've lost six straight. And I, it's one of those things where I just, I honestly don't realize, or I don't exactly know why uh, the Panthers, uh, as a full team perspective, like they're just, they are actually a very talented team. I think, you know, but the toughest part about it is you always have to find a, a player that can turn around a franchise. And I think Cam Newton for them, for him specifically, that was, you know, three or four or five years ago. And at this point, the Panthers got to make some moves in the offseason. I think we know that. But I do think that if they do make the moves, uh, including getting a quarterback, I get, but that doesn't have to be a, a huge, like they do have to go out and trade a first-round pick. In fact, I think you could probably, probably draft a quarterback in the first round uh, if you're the Panthers and, you know, It'd be justified. If I'm being honest, though, I think that the, not only do the Panthers have to go after a quarterback, they need to go after the road like uh, the likes of Sam Howell or, you know, I, I, mean, I, I know the Vikings might want to trade Kirk Cousins for maybe not for $41 million, but, I mean, the Panthers shouldn't necessarily be in the market for a quarterback in terms of the draft. They should honestly look to see some of these uh, free agent quarterbacks. I mean, guys like Kirk Cousins, we mentioned that. I mean, if the Vikings can extend him to a couple years uh, more on his contract, uh, I, I honestly feel like you could probably uh, get a deal done for a trade. And, I mean, if we're being honest, Kirk Cousins is actually a very respectable quarterback. Also, you know, um, and, and you have quarterbacks, you know, that are in the middle of the road here. Um, you know, obviously, you know, Ben Roethlisberger is probably going to retire. But, you know, this year it's been a little rough. Um, Jameis Winston uh, could definitely be up there uh, in, for that conversation. Jacoby Brissett hasn't been awful. Uh, so you could definitely um, go in that route. Uh, but overall, I think, you know, you got some guys like Tyrod Taylor, Nick Foles, Andy Dalton. But I think if the... Panthers want to be back if I like I think they can if they want to make some noise I think they have to go after Sam Howell or, or Kenny Pickett or somebody uh, in the first round of the draft now again it doesn't have to be there uh, whatever they are what 10 11 12 whatever they are um, in the draft well, I, I don't remember what their pick is but um, it's a top 10 pick or pretty close to it I know that because 5 and 11 it's been a rough season but it's not in, an indicator of actually how good they are as a team in fact I I think it's more of uh, really more of an indicator of just the, the play at quarterback like if you sub in like Jameis Winston for Sam Darnold, I, I think the Panthers make the playoffs. I mean, I, I think it's pretty close, or, or, or even one better. Yeah, I mean, if you put in Joe Burrow, uh, the Panthers are a top, like one of the top teams in the NFC. Like I, full, full, no, you know, no smoke. If there is a, a, a trade in the offseason where the Panthers can get themselves a quarterback, I know, I know, it's the most important position in the entire NFL. But man, the Panthers aren't that far off. Like. It's honestly one of those things where if they can make a, a move for Kenny Pickett, Sam Howell, or somebody, that a, a quarterback that's at least the middle of the road. I mean, you know, Sam Darnold just wasn't it. Uh, but at the end of the day, if they can just get a quarterback that's at least just in the middle of the pack, I think it could be a very scary unit. Now, this year so far, you've seen guys like Sam Darnold who, you know, completed 59% of his passes are around there for over 2,300 yards, uh, including seven touchdown passes and 12 interceptions. Cam Newton hasn't been awful. Um you know, 69 of 126 total comp completion percentage of around 55% uh, for uh, roughly 684 yards uh, with four touchdowns and five interceptions. P.J. Walker, you know, I, I was actually very excited about P.J. Walker. Like, if I'm being real, I'm, I'm very excited about P.J. Walker because I think he can still potentially be something special, but I think there's some things that have to go on uh, in order for them to make that happen. But uh, he's completed about 55% of his passes for a touchdown, three interceptions. Um, so not great quarterback play, but it's like – if you just take a look around the rest of this Panther squad, I mean, you've got Chuba Hubbard, who, in my mind, has really stepped up in the absence of Christian McCaffrey, who, I mean, could the Panthers 
look to possibly either trade or renegotiate his contract. It's a very big possibility. Um, but, I mean, Chuba Hubbard has definitely balled out this year, and I think he deserves a lot of credit for uh, some of the, su the success that the Panthers have had. Um, and, and not only that, you got guys like DJ Moore and uh, Robbie Anderson who uh, are respectable receivers. DJ Moore is one of the best in the league, 86 catches, over 1,000 uh, yards this year, four touchdowns. Um, Christian McCaffrey, like, just imagine, just imagine – what a quarterback like, I don't know, Joe Burrow or or one of those at least middle of the quarterbacks could do for a guy like DJ Moore. Like, he's he's going to get you a 1,000. Like, that's that's not even that hard. But, I mean, it's pretty much a guarantee at this point. But it all comes back to, you know, even if, if the Panthers can honestly just build, uh, uh, you know, uh, with – a middle of the pack quarterback keep most of their defensive players because like guys like Jeremy Chin, Shaq Thompson, all those guys, Hassan Reddick who's had 11 sacks this year that nobody talks about, and Brian Burns, one of the most underrated defensive ends or outside linebackers, uh, more more defensive end, but um, one of the most out underrated, excuse me, defensive players in the league. I mean, their defense is solid. You got a running game. I mean, just middle of the pack quarterback playing. Man, the Carolina Panthers will be back. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truthfully awesome, and we love every single one of you. Check out our website at thesportsbriefpodcast.com. In the description down below, you'll find all of our social media platforms. So give us a like and a follow there. We'd greatly appreciate it. Also, in the description down below, uh, you will find our link to our iTunes. Give us a listen and sub there. And finally, if you have anything you'd like us to cover, send us an email at thesportsbp at yahoo.com or Put it in the comment section down below. We would be glad to cover it. But let us know what you guys think about the Carolina Panthers with the right acqu acquisitions, acquisitions, whatever, um, the right moves in the offseason. I think they'll be back.